It is such a beautiful afternoon here in the Treasure Valley. A perfect day to debut the brand new KBOI2 weather vehicle. And joining me now is Angela Hemingway. Angela, you're with the Idaho STEM Action Center. We are so thrilled to have your logo also on this vehicle. So are we. Thank you very much, Natalie, yeah. for having us today. This is such an exciting opportunity for us to be able to work with KBOI2 and have this opportunity to really highlight the importance of weather and local weather within students' own backyards. And this is going to give us a phenomenal opportunity to be able to do that. So Angela, let's say, you know, the KBOI2 weather vehicle rolls up to an elementary school. I'm guessing that this will really make it real for students who might be interested in a specific area of science such as meteorology. Absolutely. The weather impacts and affects students all the time from young to old. We're always asking, what's the weather going to be like today? So this this particular opportunity for students to come out and see the weather being collected real time in their own backyards to be able to see data, the graphs, and understand how that works, I think is just a critically important piece and a reason that we're such a proud supporter of this opportunity. You know what's exciting too, Angela, may mm -hmm. I just say something real quick, is for kids, I mean, there's a big wow factor to this rig, right? It's got the big tires, Absolutely. it's all jacked up, but you got, you got the combination of you can combine cool with being scientific. Absolutely, and that's that critically important because at that, at, at that age, kids really think it's important. Do my friends think this is cool? Do they think what we're doing is cool? So this opportunity really showcases that science is cool. Science is absolutely is cool. cool. Yes, it is. Do we got? Are we going to a forecast, Jake? Yes, real quick? we are. Yes, Speaking okay. of cool, I Let's, think it's it's a little cool, but the we the do have a change nice. coming, guys, okay. and that change is courtesy of a cold front that's going to be headed this way, and it's going to be moving into the Treasure Valley as early as tomorrow night and early Wednesday morning. So what we're seeing right now is a temperature trend that's taking place. Look at the high temperatures tomorrow in the Treasure Valley, 44 degrees. On Wednesday, all of a sudden, we drop down to 34 degrees. On Thursday, down to 32. And look at what happens this weekend. That's not an inversion, guys. That is just frigid, cold Arctic air that's on the way. And so the satellite imagery right now shows that with that satellite, what we're getting is... Um, the cold front that's developing up in the Pacific Northwest, and that front is what's going to be bringing the showers and the possibility of a little rain-snow mix as early as tomorrow night. So, yeah, we might see some showers tomorrow night. In fact, it may start as rain. It may change over to snow quickly, but I'm anticipating that the core of this storm with the pocket of snow moving into the Treasure Valley is going to be occurring Wednesday morning, just in time for the morning commute. So we could go ahead and take a look at the seven-day forecast for the valley itself. You see that the temperature readings are going to be hovering right around the 40s tomorrow. Then we get the rain-snow chance tomorrow night, but I'd say anticipate pre-dawn winter storm about an inch of snow in the treasure valley it's not going to be huge but the mountains will get anywhere between four to maybe as much as 10 inches of snow then we'll dry out a little bit on thursday with another storm that's possible again sometime friday it looks fairly weak but there's the frigid air that comes in in place on saturday sunday and monday and the mountains will be getting some snow out of the storm commencing tomorrow night and especially on wednesday so it's good news good news is a couple of things have happened Number one, we have broken the inversion. Hallelujah to that. No more inversion. Number two is we're getting some storms that are coming in, and it all begins tomorrow night, but more so early Wednesday morning. So there you go. Coolness factor, right, mm -hmm. combined with science. Yeah, it's wonderful. Angela, it's so great to have you a part of this again. We are just thrilled. Looking forward yes. to the partnership. Thank yes. you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Back to you, Brent. Thanks, Natalie.